All right, guys, last time I bought a 70 year old World War II Jeep. And the thing is, I thought it'd be fun to try to drive this thing across the country. Little did I know it was going to break down every five minutes, only go 20 miles an hour and be absolutely horrible to drive. We made it about 60 miles and it's already broken down. But the good news is I have cheese. So what's happening here right now is obviously first things first, I mean cheese, right? But besides from eating cheese, there should be three mounting points on this generator to hold it on to the motor. One of them's broken off, one of them's bent, and one of them fell off. But we might be able to shove it back on. Maybe drive a little further, who knows. You know what time we left? Uh, we left at like uh, 8 a.m. You yep. know how far we've made it? Uh, like 50 miles. 49. <laughs> so at that rate, we'll be home in about 20 days. Well guys, thanks for watching today's video. I don't always do everything that I'm saying I'm gonna do, but a 99% success rate is pretty good. Well. We zip tied the generator back on. So that means it should be fine. Let me go ahead and try firing her up. Ah! Did you hear that? She just purred right to life. It's like she doesn't want me to quit on her yet. It's good until it rattles itself back loose. Well, I guess let's keep driving it. The exhaust leak is getting much worse. We lost the uh, plastic piece that was in there too. Yeah, just set it over the top of the carburetor. Maybe it'll do something. It did something. If it doesn't start right now, we're gonna load it up on a trailer. If it does start, we're gonna continue our trip. And starting onwards to Moab, I guess. getting hot guys figured out the solution to our problems the things underneath the hood can't overheat if there is no hood all right let's try this again good news it ain't overheating anymore Ooh, there's a car quest we probably ought to pull in there and try to see if we can get another belt Found a parts store and i found a taco hut i don't know what a taco hood is but at this moment i don't care all right so we get car parts we get food we continue the road trip yay we got supplies Oh my god, dude! This is so much better! All at our speed, how fast are we going? 43! We have 50 yet! New top speed! I don't know if our hood trick helped much. Those kind of went off the gas and let her do her thing. That's how you work it with old vehicles. You overheat them up one side of the hill, cool them back down on the other side. What's bad is I think it's like 85 degrees here, maybe 90. And where we're going in Utah is 100. New record. Problem is, I'm smoking hot, you're smoking hot, the Jeep wants to be smoking hot too. And it's getting ready to be. Okay, so this is uh, mile what now? I don't know, we're not, you know, the thing is at this point I don't want to talk about it, it's depressing. Well, it's, it could be worse. You could be in there in an AC cab with air conditioned seats. So. Wade, you're fired. <laughs> 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 like it's not even a bad ride the only thing i wish is i wish it would go faster than 30 and i wish if i tried to drive at 30 it wouldn't overheat like if it would go 60 but only overheat every 20 minutes i could do that or if it would go 30 all the time but not overheat i could do that but i can't do it'll do 30 for 20 minutes until it overheats that's just too much hey is that all the way forward on the carburetor yeah, it goes further. this this gas pedal's broke that's why it's so slow Oh, that's something there. Oh, okay. I gotta pull the gas pedal over to get full gas pedal. Oh, she's a new machine. That was the problem. The gas pedal was pushed over to the side. What are we going, like 50? I don't know, it feels fast as hell though. I'll tell you that much. Dude, we're doing 50. Holy I'm figuring it out. Do I take, she's a ripper now. How many miles since the last time it overheated? Well, it's overheating again. So when we first open up the radiator on this thing, it's full of stop leak. Ooh. <laughs> you well, see that man. copper in there? Yeah, it's got a fucking stop, stop leak, leak in it. The problem with that is it really, really messes up radiators. It clogs them up, and I think that's what's wrong with this one. So, Grand Junction's up here. 
we're gonna pull it in there and then i think we'll pull that radiator out in the hotel parking lot and try to flush it out i think if we get that flushed out and we can get the gas pedal 100 percent fixed this thing will cruise 50 comfortably all right well she's running we got pulled into the nearest town we're gonna try to go to the riley's and get some stuff to flush this radiator god i forgot Noisy she was while she wasn't running. We got it. Radiator flush. We're not sure how much flushing it'll do, but. Okay, well, let's fire up the pressure off. Guys, that right there is called a cooling system rebuild at your local car wash. You want to cap off the day, Wesson? Nope. Okay. Damn. No one stole it. It's still here. I was hoping I left the keys in and everything. They probably got out of here. It's like, how does all this thing work? We can't even get it to run. Hello, sweetheart. God, I missed you. The Jeep should be ready to go. I guess it's time to go onwards towards Moab. Too fast. Oh. Well, hey, how far do we make it? We're 82 miles away. Did we make it? We made it 20 miles, dude, without it overheating. That's a world record. I think that gauge is wrong. No, never mind. It's definitely boiling. I don't really know what to do with it because I feel like if I keep going like this, I'm going to blow the motor up. But I can't get a radiator for it either because it's a 1953 Jeep. You can't find a radiator just anywhere. I've been saying good news, bad news a lot in this video, but here's the deal. I know if I keep going like this, I'm gonna probably blow the motor up. And I don't want to because the motor actually still runs pretty good. So what I think we're gonna do is earlier this morning, I went and bought a tow bar at Harbor Freight and I think we're gonna put the tow bar on the front and tow it to Moab. See if we can find a radiator by chance and then take it off road. I want to drive it, but it don't want to drive it. So we made it to Moab and spent a couple days searching for parts. I found a water pump, a thermostat, but after replacing those, it worked. the only thing left was a radiator, which I couldn't find anywhere. So that's it. We had to haul her back to Kansas. Where we installed a brand new radiator, put the Jeep back on the trailer, went right back to Moab with absolutely no issues whatsoever. How you doing, sir? Lynch with the police department. Yeah. Reason for stop, you don't have any brake lights or turn signals on your trailer. Do you have your driver's license with you today? Well, I, I don't know how that clip got in there, but like I said, we're back with the Jeep fixed and this trip is far from over. Guys, we are back in Moab, Utah. And the thing is, if you don't know about Moab, Moab is probably the craziest place in the world that you can take a vehicle off-roading. And we brought our 70-year-old Jeep back here to go off-roading and do exactly that. Now, the thing is, I have a place I want to take it. I want to take it to Top of the World, which is a really, really cool trail that has a really, really cool lookout at the end of the trail that we get a cool Instagram photo for. But I'm not actually sure it's going to make it. And also, uh, we have to build a roll bar. That way, in case, hypothetically, something bad happens and we roll this thing over, then we don't die. So build roll bar, go off-roading, then drive on. That's the plan. All right, let's go find stuff to build a roll bar. And the biggest thing we want is if it rolls over, they don't crush us. Yeah, hey, you got any thicker metal by chance? That's all I've got. God dang You know anybody around here that might have some thicker so stuff? Nope. Looking? I've got some inch and three quarter cage pipe. How much of that you got? Full 20 foot stick. There we go. Yeah, what do you? What would you want for a 20 foot stick of it? 60 bucks. Oh, hell, that sounds good to me. We're, no, you're not, you're not giving me any money. Yes, I no, you're not. Come no, on, guys. No, but it's oh, fine. Please. I would I really like for you to. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. She is persistent. She's going to get ready to whoop us if we don't take that money. That lady gave me 60 bucks. It's just meant to be. I fixed some lady's tires. She gave me 60 bucks. So it's just, it's all working out. Hey, I appreciate you. No problem. Appreciate the help. Nobody, and I'm repeating nobody, look at the welds because they are not good. The good news is, right, if I roll this over, 
If it can handle one Weston trying to roll the Jeep over, if one West is in the Jeep when it rolls over, I should be safe. The easiest welds I've ever done on something that's supposed to save my life in an accident. What could go wrong? It should be fine. Good morning. Oh, really? You know, I think I could have went at least a couple more months without having to get back in this thing. All right, guys, it's the next morning. We're leaving the hotel. We was going to leave last night, but the trail we want to do takes four hours to get up and four hours to get down in a brand new Rubicon Jeep on 35 inch tires. So, you know, this thing's obviously better than that. So we should probably be able to make it in like two hours, but still, that's a lot of time. And we want to make sure we had a plenty of daylight so we didn't get up there and get stuck in the dark. All right, I got to navigate it. The front of the trailhead is 43 miles away. So we have the perfect amount of time to see if this thing's actually going to run right, drive right, and do everything that it needs to do right. I broke it. We haven't even made the trail yet. That's all we got. We got a Jeep and a drink. Oh, let's go. This yeah. is probably a good time to mention that I should have got a map to know where we're going, but I don't really have any clue where we're going. I know get on the road, go straight. So we'll see if that takes us there. I'll be honest, I thought this was going to be way bumpier. Top of the world that way! Let's go! These guys up here having all this issue, having all these problems with trying to climb over some rocks. God dang old Jeep will be asleep while doing it. Ugh, a rock? Man, ain't nothing compared to what I was through in Korea. <laughs> so here's my plan, right? You see how all these guys, they kind of maneuvered to the right and then they kind of got to try to get it up on that ledge, but then they kind of went back the other way. Yeah, my plan is to send it. <laughs> There's a new Jeep up here that's having trouble coming over this thing. Watch, I'm gonna get her to show them how it's done. All right. <laughs> about this one. All right, I'm gonna try the left side. just did that like we would have been watching broncos and k5s and we watched newer jeep just get stuck on that i popped the clutch gave her some gas and away she went how's your day going good let's do some exercise jeep was kind of thought that there would be like some like what's the word challenge here but they ain't seem to found any yet just out for a sunday cruise just idling down there It's a 70 year old Jeep. It's older than most people that are alive. And it's just out here. It's just outperforming Broncos and Raptors. It's just goats. It doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be this good. Oh, God damn, that was. Well, you gonna stay in here for that one, right? God damn. I'm not sure this will go up that. Guys, this might be the toughest part of this we came to. Problem is, if I back up, I'm gonna be going to the point where I can't go back forward. 
Right, let me just try it. tired of it I'll be honest yeah it's it's fun for like the first hour after that my ass hurts my back hurts my arms are tired from trying to wrangle this thing with no power steering but it sure better be pretty when we get up here and I got other bad news I think the clutch is getting burned up I've been trying to be real easy on it just direct direct engagements or direct disengagements but yeah I went out on the clutch there earlier and well, like it wasn't in a terrible bind, but it was in a little bit of a bind and it didn't go. And now the tires are spinning. I'm like, oh, no. My clutch just broke. I can't stop. I'm serious. I can't stop. Okay. And if I stop, I'll never get going again. Okay, I keep going. Son of a The clutch is stuck on the ground now. That's weird. You good? Yeah. Dude, that was scary for a second. So uh, what happened? Well, you see this? Clutch pedal. Oh, there it comes. Whatever the clutch pedal's hooked to on the transmission is come unhooked. Or the clutch is broken. I thought, for some reason, like in my mind, it seemed like the trail went this way. But it doesn't. It actually goes that way. But also, this seemed like the perfect spot to try to fix it. Something doesn't look good. Look, there's the oil. What the fuck is leaking so much gear oil? Mm -hmm. Well, that issue there is completely unrelated to the clutch issue. But I'm not sure what that is. This rod, that thing there, that's supposed to be connected to the frame rail. But it's not really connected anymore. When the Raptor gets here, we'll get a crowbar, see if we can crowbar it back in. If we can crowbar it back in, that'd be great. Until then, I'm gonna take a nap. And if the Jeep rolls over me, I guess I don't gotta worry about driving it anymore. Well, is this the end of our adventure? I sure wish so, but I think we can fix it. You know, I think we're literally walking distance from the top. I think it's like literally like right around the corner. Well, hopefully that's got us back in business. All right, now's the moment of truth, right? Let's we'll see if the clutch works. It don't feel good. I mean, it's. I think it's working though. It don't feel good. Well, while we're here. Haven't checked on this thing in a hot minute. Yep, it's still here. All right, let's go see if we can find a big ledge to drive on. $100,000 rigs coming up here to do this and here we are in our freaking cheap ass military jeep that's 70 years old just bouncing over some rocks having us a good old time. Oh, I feel it. It's close. It's got to be close. Dude. It's it. Dude. Dude. She made it. Oh. Oh. 
I'm so happy. Holy sh! That is Yep. That's tall. <laughs> <laughs>